Hello and welcome to Under the Lights, the boxing talk show brought to you by Sportsology TV with myself, Ali Drew. On the last episode, I was joined by former IBO world champion Hannah Rankin. So if you haven't already, make sure you check that episode out. But on this week's episode, I am joined by a grime artist who is a huge boxing fan. He takes a lot of inspiration from boxing in his lyrics. I am delighted to be joined by Grim Sickers. Grim, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you on the show. Um, how? Just talk to me about how, how you are. Obviously, the last year has been crazy. You're a performer, so just talk to me about how it's been. Yeah, it's, it's quite tough, to be fair, man. Like, uh, that's how I earn my bread and butter. Been stuck in the house a bit. It's been... I think, I think I'm a changed man. Like, I think it's changed me, but not, like, in a good way. I feel, like, um, a bit suppressed, a bit... I don't know, man. Like, all, in all honesty, I feel like it's going to be hard for me to get to back where I was just because it's a year and a bit just staying in the house. So, not not been too good on me, to be fair. And is there any sort of idea of when you're going to be out performing again? Do you know of, of anything? Yeah. I'm straight back on tour on June 21st with the, with the streets. So we're straight. We're, on the first day we're allowed back, we got we got our first date. So that's something to look forward to. But I'm quite nervous because um, to go from in the house into like tens of thousands of people straight away is going to be quite. But I, I reckon I could take it in my stride. Though. I think I'll be, be able to get back in the groove quite quickly. And is it going to be sort of crowds as normal? Are they hoping just? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because June twenty first, I think goes back to normal. Apparently, so um, yeah, it should be all right. Amazing. And when you've been in lockdown, have you been able to, to sort of make any music or do, or do anything at all? And yeah, like- yeah, yeah. I'm in the studio every day. I've, I've like because the government like said the working studio is a working space, so I've been in the studio every single day. Like today's it's half term. Got the kids, but it's from there. It's every single day. And have you got new music that we can look forward to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads of new music. We're, we're, we're starting on April the 16th. Um, just, I'm looking to drop something every three weeks just to be consistent. But in this climate, I can't see a lot of people buying music though, man. So I don't know. It's, it's for a musician. I think we got hit quite hard. So um, you just got to keep your head above water and keep going and hope for the best, I think. Yeah, it has been um, difficult for, for so many industries, but especially yeah. performers. It's just been, there's going to be yeah. a lot who, who don't return to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I reckon a lot of people got jobs. Um, I'm lucky I get paid well enough off the streams, but for someone that not, might not be doing as well as me, I, I don't know how they would have survived, man. I might have to go get a job or something, but all creatives and performers of uh, all arts has really suffered hard, man. So hopefully everyone can find their creativity back and just... Okay, it might take a few years to get back, but I think we should be all right in a few years. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, so I also I want to talk about the fact that you are a huge boxing fan. Massive. And you massive. incorporate quite a lot of boxing-related stuff into your music, and there's quite a lot of lyrics that are, are related to boxing. Yeah. Because, do you know what it is? Because all I watch is boxing interviews all day. Like, I'm actually... But the reason I'm such a boxer fan because I was a big musician fan and then when you get to know the industry I wasn't really liking what I was seeing they, they always say like when you get the industry so I want to be a fan of something I'm boxing I'm just like a fanatic man I watch every, I, go, I actually go to every fight at the O2 I'm there and last fight I was at was the Josh Taylor against Progress fight and um, not going to the boxing has hurted me as well but I talk about boxing because all, that's all I watch so I find it easy, like, to just to know what I'm talking about. So I don't see many people doing it as well. So it's kind of a little a, a niche, a niche for me as well. Yeah, because obviously crowds haven't been back to the boxing yet. Are you hoping to once crowds are back to go straight back to the to the show? Oh, mate, I'm probably looking forward to going to a show just as much as I am performing. I'm trying to make. I'm trying. To, I want. I want to go to the Canelo Billy fight, but it's 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 it's, it's the quarantine and, and and all that's what's what's putting me off. So the first one back at the O2, I'm there, hundred percent. Oh, it'll be so good. It'll be so good and crazy. Yeah, enough. wicked. So just talk to me about sort of what who you like in boxing, who's sort of exciting you at the moment. You mentioned Billy Joe there. Oh yeah, Billy Joe. Now my favorite fighter of all time is Tyson Fury, and like I know he's current now, but I can see how good Tyson Fury is now. And like, he's probably the best since Ali, I think personally. I've got him as a big favourite against Joshua. But I love Joshua as well. I'm not a man that, I ain't got to put Joshua down. 
to big up Fury. Like, I like both of them. And, and I think people are forgetting that you can like both fighters. You ain't got to be on one side. But Fury, Billy Joe Sa- Saunders is one of my favourites as well. Lawrence O'Coley the other day, he's gone up in my estimations as well. And probably Josh Taylor, probably my favourite British fighters, man. Like, Josh Taylor's got a big fight coming up, I think. They're pro- probably my favourite Brit- British fighters at the moment. What about you? Who's your favourite fighters? Um, to be honest, it's hard to have favorites because obviously you end up when you into people, you end up thinking, Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I like that. You end up yeah. just like, like not even having a favorite, you know, you'll, you'll inter- have interviewed two people and then they end up yeah. fighting each other and you're like, I don't know who I want to win. It's so yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. I get that, that as well. I get, I think, do you know, like, like platforms like yourself, I think like where you get to know the boxes more is mm-hmm. how I got into boxing because you get to know the background and. The, the journey and how much it means to them and and then you like both fighters and it's it's like kind of like his standards like the way that the media like saying certain questions you get to know this guy that guy and I feel that's how I proper got into boxing man probably from the when it started going on YouTube and interviewing all the boxers yeah I mean it is YouTube on boxing on YouTube is flying it really yeah yeah, yeah. I think I think I think do you think boxing's in a good place in the UK because people are saying oh we're, we're losing our world champions and that but and not many people are coming through, but I think for me, it's the, it's the biggest uh, boxing ever been. Like on social media, when there's a fight on, it's usually trending and and it's it's it's, it's, ma- it's massive. I think now personally myself. Yeah, I think boxing is it's doing amazing at the moment. Obviously, especially British boxing, I think it's just doing incredible things. You know, we've got obviously this huge fight that everyone's talking about is AJ Fury. They are two British yeah, yeah. boxers. You know, it's going to be the biggest fight we've seen in. I don't know how long, you know, in this generation by an absolute mile. You know, we've got obviously Josh Taylor, who's got his massive undisputed fight coming up. You know, Ramirez, you know yeah, which yeah. is like Callum Smith, you know, he he fought Canelo, got Billy Joe yeah. fighting Canelo. We've got the Britons fighting the best in the world. Yeah, but we are, we are, we're having a bit of a bad time though, aren't we? We're not doing that. Oh, yeah. We are in a bit <laughs> okay. of a bad day. Yeah. The Mexicans are getting one over us. I, 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 this, this is why I like Fury, yeah, because... He went to America and won, and I can't remember the last time one of us done it. Like, Callum Smith got beat, I know, and Josh Taylor is going to do it. I think Josh Taylor's going to do it. But for the Bulls, what Fury done, he made it look easy, but it's not easy what he done. Like, it's, it's, it's incredible to go over there, do the man, become become the man in the sport. But I do think that Billy is going to beat Canelo. I honestly reckon he's going to beat Canelo. But I think he'll, he'll get robbed by the judges, actually. I think he'll outbox him. Okay. I think yeah, because it'll go the distance, but you think yeah, you you'll get, get the I, th- win. I think I think out boxing, but like like in the the Golovkin first fight, it will be a bit dodgy because I always say this yeah, you got to knock Canelo out to get a draw. I always say that to everyone because I've seen him. You you you, you, you got to do what you. It's impossible to be because he's the golden boy of the sport. He brings the most revenue and makes the most money. If you beat him, there's a lot of money going out of boxing. Like there's a lot. It's a, it's a big space, so. I think Billy, and they don't want they don't want Billy to. He's too. You can't control Billy on the socials. He'll type what he wants, does what he wants. You don't want Billy beat. They don't want Billy beating no, Canelo. No way. Do you think that that's an issue with obviously across the world? Because you're saying that's in America, but I mean, we've seen it in Britain quite a lot recently. With some, some sort of dodgy, dodgy scorecards, should we say? Oh, mate. Do you know what it is? As a fan, right? I kind of expect it now. Like, if someone's winning on a, not say match stream, it's not, I don't want to pick them out, but if someone's winning and I think they've won, I always think, you know what, it could go the other way or, because you don't know, but I don't think boxing's fixed. I think I watch boxing different to the judges. I don't think they could, I don't know why they would fix it. I don't know, I, I think we're in a new era now. There's too many eyes on it, but I just, I just think that Maybe because I've not boxed before or maybe I've not been in the ring. They might be seeing something different to what I I, I see. But some of the scorecards I've seen is, I can't work it out, but who am I to judge? So maybe where the camera is, what we look at, is different to what they're looking at. So they can see punches I'm not seeing. So I always give them the benefit of the doubt. I, I always think when I get it wrong that maybe I don't know enough about boxing. I'm not too sure. So I'm, when I see an 18, 11, 8, 118, 111, and I've got it like the other way around. So I don't, I don't know. What about you? What do you think? Well, a lot of because the thing is, a lot of people in boxing disagree with the scorecards as well. Even yeah, yeah. Cops say, oh, that, that scorecard's outrageous, you know. But then the diff, I suppose the difficulty is some judges will will prefer the more aggressive fighter, even if they're not landing yeah. punches, um, or the more active fighter, even if they're not necessarily landing, whereas other I guess other judges wouldn't see it like that. It's it's very 
it's difficult and it is subjective. That's the problem. We're never going to get a definitive answer because it is subjective. Um, but I do think maybe that something needs to change because some of the court scorecards, it, it takes away from, I think there was um, the Zelfa Barrett fight. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. outrageous. <laughs> so he, he ended up yeah, getting the game, which is fine. But then the, it almost took, it was taken away from him with the, no one was really like, oh, well done for getting the win. It was like, all oh, those scorecards were outrageous. You know, it's, it takes it away from, from the winner of the fight. Yeah, and also one time I was at a live boxing event. Uh, I can't remember what fight I watched, and I and then I, I was speaking to my mate who's watching at home, and I had it different to what he had it as because I was there live. So I get, I do get it, but the one eighteen, one eleven, I don't know, man. Like, I I, 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 w- I would love for them to be interviewed and say how, what 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 do you look for on a fight? Uh, what so so we know what we're, we're we're all on the same page. What are you looking for? Because the way it's scored is 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 I don't know. I think it's a bit outdated, man. I, think, I would love to see Xboxes uh doing it as well. Uh coming out and doing that as well. Uh, hey, what do you want to talk about? Do you know Frampton the other day? I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, Carl Frampton, my son. Did, did you think he was gonna win it? Yeah, man, I did, I did, I did, I did. I'm a big, I'm a big Frampton fan, man. I know how big he is now. I was sad, man. I was so sad because he's a nice geezer, man. I like him. So yeah, I was sad about Frampton as well, man. I mean, you, you know, you've got to give it to me. He went up the weight. You know, he was trying to make history. Um, yeah. And do you think that Jamie Moore made the right decision at the right time for throwing in the towel when he did? I think he threw it a bit late. Oh, do you think so? for it. Do you? I do. I, I thought it was when he went I, down. I always think that with Jamie Moore, I always think that he he'll put himself in the firing line so that if anyone complains, like, oh, that was too soon, or he's happy to say that like, my decision, I pulled him out. You know, I don't want him to get hurt. He does that. Right. He does that with his fighters. He doesn't. He doesn't wait for it to be. You know, someone getting hurt. He's 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 good. Yeah. Well, um. Yeah. I do. I think it's a bit too late. Carl was taking some big bangs, but Herring. Let's not give let's not take anything from Heron. He's good. He's better than I thought he was. I thought he was a bit over the hill there saying he's got to do Dubai late. He's gonna have jet lag. He seemed all right. I thought he, he, he he's I, I, I think he'll move up up away and get another title as well. Oh, do you think? Okay. Yeah, do you think yeah, he'll do you think he'll fight Shakur Stevenson or not? Yeah, ready for that, man. It's too young. Shakur Stevenson. Everyone's avoiding Shakur Stevenson, man. He's the he's the future of box, I think personally. Him. Team of female, all them young boys coming through. That they're, they're they're the future, but he's definitely the future. Shakur Stevenson. What sort of division? What division excites you the most? What? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you? yeah. Now these are sort of questions I live for. I do like the lightweight division, but do you know what? My I'm a boxing. I like the British. Uh, what's Ted Cheeseman's weight called again? That one foot, one foot. Super whatever well. that division is, yeah. Too well That done. was Cheeseman. Yeah, Fowler. Fitzgerald for the British scene, that one's thriving. Yeah. Uh because I like Cheeseman, I'm a big Cheeseman fan. But for Nash. It was a great fight with JJ Metcalf, wasn't it? Bloody hell, man. The cheese had me on my edge of my seat, he did. I said, cheese, man, like, you need to stop defending a bit more because he takes rounds off in the middle and he's up like three, four out. He's he's good to watch, but it's frustrating. But it's a good knockout. And I want I want to see him versus Fitzgerald again and Fowler. I think he'll beat Fowler as well. But I like Fowler. Man. I was a good guy. Gave me some CBD one time. I'll type Fowler for that CBD. But flipping um, lightweight division, of course, one three five. Yeah, big I mean, who do you think is, is the, the king? Obviously, Tiafimo. Tiafimo, man. No, it's tough. Now, do you know what? The king is Loma because he will win the rematch. But they don't want to beat Loma. And all of a sudden, Loma's locked up because he had one bad fight and the shoulder was out. Loma would win that. I watched the rematch. I watched the fight the other day. Loma would win that rematch. But out of everyone else, Tiafimo Lopez, man, as a person, as a brand going to Triller, he's setting pace already. Like he, he, he he's yeah, he's he's, set, he's like the future. He's such a nice guy as well, man. Like he's the future as a, as a whole package, not just the boxer, the brand, the flipping personality, everything about him. Him, but Ryan Garcia is close. And if Ryan Garcia beats Fortuna and then beats Haney, I can see him being bigger than um, TFEMO in in the boxing and the outside world. Yeah, I mean, he's a big, he's big on social media. Good he? brand. He's yeah, big. T- big on TikTok, oh, like, my kids yeah. know who he is. Uh, yeah, yeah. But good looking, he's uh, can do what he can do whatever he wants. I don't even think he even be a boxer in five years. I think after Canelo and Joshua, he's, he's, he's the next face, as long as he's going to get beat. Yeah, because obviously you mentioned um, Lomachenko. Yeah. He, obviously, he got, he got beaten. Um, and it's almost, everyone thought, you know, he was the, the greatest pound for pound. Yeah. 
But when he got beat, it's as, as if everyone just wrote him off. He's like, oh, he's, he's got beat, that's it now. It's because, you know what it is? It's because he's got no reason to fight him. What, he don't bring anything. Why He ain't got no bouts. It's like Wilder. Wilder ain't got a bout, so let's put him out of the picture. And Lom- I feel for Lomachenko a bit, man, because it's a forgotten man. And I like Lomachenko. He's a good geezer, man. man. And I, he, I feel if you let him back in, he's going to beat everyone for you. He's going to beat everyone, like, convincingly. I'm, I feel like he's a guy, if you piss off, he's going to get better. Uh, and I think Loma will win the rematch against Lopez, but Lopez don't want to give him the rematch. And I understand why he don't want to give him the rematch, but if somehow we can go back and get a fight. I think um, Loma, Loma will, will, will win. And the heavyweight division, obviously, we have to talk about. Um, it's, it is, it's, the British heavyweight is, is brilliant at the moment. Yeah. Just talk the British scene. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British scene. You know, like, from, apart from the obvious ones, yeah. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, Joe so Joyce, for AJ Fury. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, you got to watch out for Joe Joyce, man. He's got a chin like a Nokia Fire Three Ten. Yeah, take it all day, and <laughs> and he'll keep walking forward. Yeah, and uh, that's one guy you don't want to fight, man. He, he's a, a, a boy. He'll beat Yusek in the rematch, and Yusek's not even fighting him now. I heard. I don't know, like, but he says there's no point fighting him now. That's what I'm hearing. Who but, do you think? Who would you like to see Joe Joyce fight now? Well, Dillian White, man. Okay. Dillian White, because Dillian White, what are you going to do for the next year and a half? Really, I mean, you shouldn't have like Povetkin. I love Dillian White. You beat Povetkin, but who are you going to fight in the meantime? Andrew Ruiz, like, don't call out Wilder because Dillian, like, if you get caught by Wilder, it's, it's like I don't know why you'd even take that risk. No, no one's not Fury. Like, no one's six foot nine and doing that to Wilder as well. And but, also, I mean, you saw he took a risk. Fighting Povetkin and it backfired in the first. Yeah, season. yeah, yeah. We, I, I want to wrap Dillian and Cotton Wool for eighteen months and let him get his title shot because mm. I didn't realize he was thirty-four. I thought he was at like thirty-one or something. He's not. It's not like he's getting on, but it's a prime. It's a good age for a heavyweight to be in. Save your prime years for the winner of Joshua and and Fury. But Joe Joyce is my tip to be the next world champion after them. After them too. And then we've got um, Chisora Parker happening in a couple of weeks now. That fight oh, is finally Parker's overrated. Yeah, Parker's overrated. Do you think? Do you think Chisora's going to win that? Yeah, Chisora's going to win that easy. Do you know why? Because really, Parker, who have you beat really, Joseph? Let's talk about who's Joseph beaten. I don't know no one he's beaten. I saw a fight with someone called F.A. the other day and he was having a bad oh, day. Yeah. yeah, what's going on? Like, Joseph, like, how did you get that deep? I'm trying to figure out Joseph. I'm going to ring Higgins up after this. How did you get that WBO, Joe? Because I don't know how you had that belt. I, because I used to rate him. I got caught into the... Then I thought, hold on. Parker, you're not even that good, bro. So I realised it. And then, yeah, man. So I think Chilzo was going to beat him. And then he ain't got nowhere to go. Maybe go down to Cruiser. I don't know. Where do you think Chisora goes if he beats Joseph Chisora is next, like the pay-per-view king. Chisora... <laughs> <laughs> like how Chisora still to put a pay per views? I'm a bigger fan. Chisora, where can Chisora go? Chisora, you can. You, if you win that fight, Joe Joyce, fight Joe Joyce or someone along that line, like because Chisora's in the mix as a gatekeeper for pay per view, man. Uh, I think he's got a few more years in the tank as well. I still, I can still say like I think Chisora's gonna beat Parker convincingly as well. And do you think I, that he would beat Joe Joyce, or do you think that no Joe way? Nah, nah, nah. Like, Chisora won't be Joe Joyce. Chisora, like, I don't want want him to fight, like, Nathan Gormans and uh, Fabio Wardley's and stuff like that, man. Like, when he gets... I want him to stay where he is and retire him. Maybe Fury said they'll give him a fight, another fight. Maybe finish with the third fight with Fury. Because Fury always said they'll give Chisora another pay do. Okay. I mean, there is some interesting fights to be made. And you mentioned Wardley there. Um, and Nate yeah. Norman and you've got Daniel Dubois. You know, do, do you yeah. feel like sort of, Daniel Dubois is really young? Obviously, he had the, the loss to. to yeah, man, come back and it's still exciting that I can come in. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's exciting. But do you know who I like, man? What's his name? He fights on BT, the Black Keys. I can't remember his name, man. David Adelaide. Yes, I like him. At least calling that board in there already, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I like him. I like him. Yeah, I think he, he, he out of all that crop. I, I, I would say Fabio Woodley, but I thought Fabio was struggling against Molina. I thought Molina had him rocked. I, and I, I, I don't know why Molina went down like that. And I'm thinking, it was an odd fight. That was an odd fight. Like, I'm, did, like, Molina, the co-mates, did a brown I was a few, odd fight. 
like Melina, did you get a little brown envelope under the table or something, bro? Because the way you dropped, like, a, I think he was winning the fight. Easy for me. Easy. But maybe, if I, I think, I think, um, Gorman, Gorman, people keep calling that Gorman. Gorman's not nothing to mess with either. He's slick. I wouldn't even keep calling that Gorman. But yeah, but the British lot. Now, who's that other guy, the new one? He's had one fight. What's he called again? Uh, Johnny, um... Johnny Fisher. Johnny Fisher, he looks like a flipping you. Hey, listen, you're up to date. I'm not, you're like box, you're like box wreck. <laughs> the color of the name's easy. Yeah, Johnny Fisher. Johnny Fisher, I like Johnny Fisher as well. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's really close to his debut, but he's very exciting. He looks all right, isn't it? Yeah, I like Johnny Fisher, man. Nice, and like, I like him, Joe. I like him because he's gone to university. He's got a degree, and that, so yeah, yeah I like, I'm a big fan of Johnny Fisher as well. Yeah, so yeah, there's so many books, 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 like, do you know what it is? I struggle to, like, I know Canelo's going to be walking out at Songs of Praise half seven in the morning on the Sunday and that, but uh, I, I, I'll, wait, I'll wait up for that one, I think. Conor Ben, this Saturday, I'm looking forward to that as well. I think Conor Ben's going to be a superstar after he beats Wade Vargas on Saturday as well. That's a good scrap. Yeah, that is. That's a good fight. This, and I think they're going to do, this summer, um, Eddie Hearn saying he's going to do another fight camp style outside. So, hopefully. Do, I do think, yeah, that Eddie Hearn's leaving Sky Sports because I think he's leaving Sky Sports. Well, yeah, the contract's up this summer. So yeah. either Sky Sports are going to have to put in a, a good offer. The zone's obviously in the mix. He said, I think they said there's three options. So yeah, I, I think, think the other one is, but. Because they've not announced Billy and Canelo on Sky, right? And I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of nerdy like this. I'm thinking the fight's like a month away. I've not seen one advert on Sky. They must be going to the zone. They're not pushed it once. He's with Matru and Billy. They've not. I've not seen nothing for it. I'm thinking it must be on the zone. It must be. We're going to zone. Sourland's just done something with someone I don't know. He's going to go Sky Sports. That's what I personally think. Do you think that as well? Or am I yeah, I was going to say what do you think? Because Sky Sports can't not have boxing. They can't just not show boxing. So it's got to. They're going to have to Land. do something. Yeah, Sourland or BT. I don't know. I think Eddie's gone, but he needs to announce it quite soon because also. They're not pushing the Chisora Parker fight. I know we're a month up, but normally you see a bit of what's coming up, a bit of interviewing Johnny Nelson and all that on there. Not really seen anything, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've got it completely wrong, but I've got a feeling they're going to zone. Do you think they'll go to zone that soon? Do you think that it won't be on? Because yeah. I think that's pay per view, isn't it? The the Chisora Parker one. Yeah, I think I feel like it's going to be one ninety nine. The app's going to be like on every smart TV, and then. It'll be, it'll be like that forever. It is interesting to see like the way that that boxing is going. You know, it's it's. Do you think that more boxing should be on the channels that are more accessible to people? Like we saw, um, Channel Five had the you know, the, the Herring Frampton fight. Who the hell was that host, man? Jesus, I thought I was at the bingo. I was like, that was this guy on. <laughs> nah, Channel Five was awful, man. I thought it was awful to be like, to what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. like I would go to Dubai and fight there. It looked like I was in a school school class, but Matthew set the levels for me. So I don't know. I feel like Eddie Hearn's just ahead of the curve, the Dunder Zone. I feel like he's trying to be the UFC. Do you think UFC is bigger than boxing? Because I do. Um, I do. <laughs> the way that the production certainly is, the way they do it is bigger, but. It shouldn't be because more people, nah. I think, watch boxing and like boxing than UFC. But the way they do it in the UFC is just so good. Good. And, and Dana White is just licking them fights up. Like, hopefully, what's what I see Eddie Hearn say the other day that like, if Matchroom get all the boxes under one umbrella, then they will be at UFC. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm looking at UFC the other day and I'm thinking, my timeline's like quite jumping. They, they, they prefer it to what, we're, to what we're looking at. I'm watching Frampton on Channel 5. These lot have got some big superstar fight going on. I feel like it might be a bit bigger. Maybe. Yeah, not they, do, they do a lot of 50-50 fights as well. Um, Amazing. Which, I mean, I guess boxing's catching up because this pandemic has made more 50-50 fights happen, which can only yes. be a good thing. But we're losing titles, though. Like Josh Warrington getting beat, flipping 
Callum Smith, I'm thinking, we're getting stripped. Do you he think got many John Warrington can, can come back? In- no way. That guy's got his number. I promise you that guy's got his number. Lara, yeah, Lara Croft, not Lara Croft. What's it? Brian Lara, not Brian Lara. Stop it, Lara, yeah? yeah? He's got his number. You can't drop Josh Warrington that many times, man. That style is crazy for him. Yeah, Warrington. If I was Warrington, I'd move up or move down. Wherever. I was going to say, do you think that's what you should change? change he's him? a nice guy, Josh, isn't he? He's good, man, man. But, gee, that, Lara's given him up. Lara would beat it 10 out of 10 times. It's just the style's all wrong for him. Like Josh Although, the floor I mean, we've, we've got out. potential. Um, Britain have got potential titles. Like Liam Williams is coming up as oh, well. Oh, yeah, big upset. Like so you know what? All right, all right. Listen, I'm screaming Liam Williams from the high heavens. And I said to myself, who's Liam beat, though, really? And who's Andrade beat? I know Smithy beat him twice, but that's not the same fighter. I'm saying he's going to beat him, but then I can't really write Andrade off too much, really. Because Andrade's quite slick. So I was Williams, Williams, Williams. But now I'm 50-50. Because you're going to America. Yeah. What do you reckon, Williams, as well? Um, yeah, I do think he's a totally different fighter from when he fought Liam Smith. Like, completely yeah, yeah. different fighter. Um, and I do think, I just think it's his time. I just think he's waited a long time for the world title shot. Um, I, I mean, I hope he does it. I, I think he's got a great chance, but it's gonna be, it is going to be a tough fight. But hopefully, yeah, yeah. I, will, I hope so. I'm screaming, like, I know who Andrade's beat as well, but I don't know. I don't know. 50-50, I'm saying. But hopefully, yeah. Williams does it on the 70. I pray, I pray he does it. Yeah, that's it's like next week, isn't it? It's not long. Not long. Catching up. It's, it's, it's fluent now. It's every Saturday. I'm loving life right I know. Now. I keep thinking the May dates are ages away. And I'm like, we're in like... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's quite yeah, May, I can't wait. I can't wait for Billy Burst Gillen and 70,000. I can't. I'm going to sleep and waking up. I'm not doing it all night. I'm... I'm <laughs> I may have said that half, half, half nine. Yeah, yeah. I do but, want to yeah. ask actually the Josh um, Josh Taylor Ramirez fight. Um, yeah. If Josh Taylor wins that, he's promised yeah. Jack Cattrall the fight. Um, because obviously. Oh, he's don't I? No, I might as well give him the belt and move up. What do you do? You think that fight will happen, and do you think that that Josh will will walk that? See, Josh, he, Josh is elite, man. Josh is up there with like Crawford and Spence and like. Canelo's, he's at that sort of level, Josh. Man, oh, in fact, listen, Josh, Josh, catch, um, catch all. He's been out for two years. You should have been more busy. You should have been relying on and do it, doing it like this. I don't like, I don't like it when people take two years out because you, you beat O'Hara Davis, but now O'Hara Davis is a bigger brand than you because you went into the golden um contract. But don't in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll relinquish the title and go to 147 now. So I'll start, just take it because you'll be mandatory for Ira Spence. Or Crawford, who always got the belt, and just be a two-way world champion. If I was Josh Taylor, to be fair, it is difficult because I think Jack Cattrall had a he had a fight in lockdown. Um, oh yeah, he did. He did. He, he didn't yeah. even look too good though. Yeah, he didn't look great. I think he, he said he was struggling with the fact that he'd been out of the ring. Um, but it's difficult when when people are mandatory to have to wait so long. I mean, he's chosen to step aside, but. Um, it's a lot. He's had a long, long wait, and same as like Dillian White. You watch, you do if you're having to wait this long. Yeah, maybe not as extreme as Dillian, mm. but I have, I have a few tick overs, Catchall. Man, flip it. You can't come maybe out off the back. Maybe they'll go to like one of the top ten. <laughs> yeah, despite like someone in the top thirty or something, man. Have a little, have a little, have a little roll around on the cobbles, man. But bloody yeah, don't flip in. Take two and a half years. That's not good for anyone. Yeah. I took one year off before me. I couldn't imagine doing two years off before me. I mean, he's ticking over in the gym's all right, man. But when you fight a man like Josh Taylor, man, he's he's a serious operator. He's gonna be on your chest. That, that that fight will last five to ten seconds if you don't trade for two years, bro. Do you worry that Billy Joe Saunders has not been as, as active? Canelo's been oh, very active. Yeah, worry, oh, man. Billy Joe had the fight with Martin Murray in December. Oh, um, okay. oh, um, oh, but man. yeah, do you worry that he's not been as active? Really, really worry, man. Because you know what it is with Billy, yeah, because he's so good. He's such a good talent, yeah. That sometimes he cuts corners. He, he knows his talent will make up for it. But I know a super fit Billy, the top of his day, man. He, no one's no one's touching him, man. Not, not even Canelo, man. Promise you. Me and John Fury got the same idea, man. No one's touching Billy. So I'm worried, man. I'm really... He looks in good shape, though. He looks he, in good shape. Saw him the other day with that little thing around his waist, man. Look good, man. Good. And I like the way he's tweeting, like... If someone posted a picture and he went, it's an old pic on Twitter the other day. It's making me laugh. He's, try, he's doing the mind games quite well, man. Like, when he's in Canelo's face, no, he, Canelo's going to know he's in a fight. I know Canelo knows he's in a fight. Canelo is, for me, the pound for pound 
But when you you've never you've never you've never fought a gypsy like like Billy before that that won't respect you from the go that don't care who you beat how many bouts you got it's gonna be in your face and you're gonna be like okay this is new for me it's gonna be like well Fury folk Klitschko that's what I'm saying that's what I'm comparing it to. It is gonna be exciting. Not long to wait either. Not long. Yeah, not long. Not long. Thank you so much for joining no me. It's great talking to you. Looking forward to your new music that's out and hopefully you can get back performing on the 21st of June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And you're good at your job, man. You may feel comfortable with coming out my show. So thank you very much. Thank you. And chat to you again soon, hopefully. Okay, take it easy. Thank you. Thanks. Great to be joined there by Grim Sickers and we look forward to his new music that should be coming out very soon. But guys, stay tuned because we have lots more coming up on the channel. Please keep doing what you're doing to support us. Leave some comments, like, share, whatever you can. We do appreciate it and we will see you next time.